Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special story. That's why I've got funny hair. We're doing George Lucas's Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope. Today we have a special mission to defend the Rebel Alliance against the evil Galactic Empire. Time to get ready for our mission. Let's start with our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two. We put down one, we put down two. We go up, up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we do our necks. We look over one shoulder and over the other. Over one and over the other. We look all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Then we go around in a big, lovely circle. And the other way. Ooh. There we go. Now to get our hips open. We reach up high, keep your bottom on the floor, and we put our hands in front of our legs. Now, can we walk our hands forwards? One, two. Oh, let's try that again. One, two. And again. One, two. Well done, everyone. Let's now come into hero pose because today we're proper heroes. Roll all the way forward onto your knees and sit down on your heels. Now, take your hands forward and separate your feet and sit down in between your ankles. Yes, now if that's a bit pinchy on your knees, you can always come back to sit on your heels. Take your hands in front of you and crisscross your fingers. Turn them inside out and lift them up above your head. Yes, into hero pose. Now for that evil galactic empire. We stand up. We take our legs wide. We bend our knees and bring our hands up into our lobster or goddess pose. And let's do a big lion face to be scary. Ready? <laughs> Very good, everyone. Time to get going. Now, the Death Star is the Galactic Empire's space station. Bringing your hands above your head, make a space station shape. The Death Star, taking your arms out wide, is nearly finished. And after it's finished, it will be powerful enough to completely destroy a whole planet. Crisscross your fingers behind your back. And after three, we're going to go boom. One, two, three, boom. Standing all the way up again. Oh, when that happens, it's going to be scary, scary stuff. But we're joining the Rebel Alliance, who are Jedi heroes. Turning to the side, bend your knee. Take your hands in front of you and hold your lightsaber and lift them up above your head like a very, very clever Jedi warrior. Hmm. Now, our Galactic Empire is ruled by the tyrannous and horrible Emperor Palpatine. Standing on one leg, can we make our fingers all craggy and our toe all craggy and pull a silly face? Well done, everyone. Now, Emperor Palpatine has a Sith apprentice. He's called Darth Vader and he wears a big black mask. Rub your hands together, make them really hot, and put them over your eyes, making a mask. Darth Vader does some very funny breathing. Crisscross your fingers, put them under your chin, take a big breath all the way in, and lift your elbows. Now, make a Darth Vader sound to the sky. Can we do that again? Breathing all the way in and all the way out, Darth Vader sound to the sky. 
one more time, breathing in, breathing out, Darth Vader-like. Darth Vader has just captured Princess Leia. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Take your legs round to one side and your hand onto your knee. Take your other hand round behind you. Look over your shoulder. Look back at the front and say, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then we take our legs round to the other side. We take our other hand onto our knee and our other hand behind us looking over our shoulder back to the front. You're my only hope. But before Princess Leia was captured, she managed to steal the plans to the Death Star. She climbed in the secret room. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Then she tiptoed really quietly. She stole the plans and crawled out the escape hatch. Coming onto all fours, reach with one arm, reach with two, reach with one leg, reach with the other leg. Then when she was safely through, she wiggled on her tummy, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And she hid the plans in a droid called R2-D2. Tuck your toes, lift your bottoms up to the sky, and let's make an R2-D2 noise, ready? Princess Leia stood up and she told the droid all about the plans for the Death Star. At the end, she did a special message. She leant all the way forward and she said, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then she crouched down to lock in the plans. You're my only hope. Our friend R2-D2 managed to escape. Hands down, toes back, lift your bottoms to the sky. But poor Princess Leia was arrested and captured by Darth Vader. Hands up! She was put in a prison cell. Cross one leg over the other and take your arms out wide. Take one arm under the other, like scissors, and wave with the underneath arm. Then swizzle your fingers round and sit down. Oh look, she was all tied up. Let's try that the other side. Unravel yourself and cross the other leg over. Bend your knees and let's scissor the other arm underneath this time. Wave with your fingers and swizzle them round, sitting down. Oh no, poor Princess Leia. But luckily, R2-D2 escaped in an escape pod. Sitting on your bottoms, let's hug our knees. Tuck your chin in like you're squashing a tomato and then rock and roll backwards and forwards. Ready? Whee! <gasps> and whee! He escaped to the desert planet of Tatooine. On the planet, of Tatooine, our very lovely friend, Luke Skywalker, lives on a farm. Standing up, let's do a little farm dance. Diddly 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 dee, diddly diddly dee. He lives there with his step-uncle and aunt. One day, Luke Skywalker was looking for the new droid delivery. Bring your thumbs and fingers together and have a look through your special cosmonoculars. He hoped that those droids would be arriving soon so that he could go and buy one. They needed some extra help on the farm. <gasps> Here they are! He got into his land speeder. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Start your engine. We're going over to one side. We're going over to the other side. We're going down a hill. We're going up a hill. Luke Skywalker bought two droids. He bought one called C-3PO, who looked a bit like a penguin. Standing up, take your feet out wide and your hands down by your side and waddle around. Oh, yes, my name's C-3PO. Uh, what can I do for you? But with C-3PO was the very special little droid R2-D2, remember, from Princess Leia. Hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom to the sky. Back at their house, Luke took them into the garage to give them a clean. He used his cloth and used his breath. <sighs> <laughs> he 
He cleaned their ears, rubbing your ears from the bottom to the top. And their faces, oh yes, getting them all nice and shiny. <gasps> but what was this? He activated the message from Princess Leia. The droid R2-D2 showed him. Hands down, tuck your toes and lift one of your legs. Can you make it bend at the top as well? Yes! <gasps> Suddenly, the message from Princess Leia started in front of Luke. Standing up, she said, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, what's this, thought Luke? Who is Obi-Wan Kenobi? Could it be old Ben Kenobi, who lives in a cave on the other side of the mountain? All of a sudden, there was a great big boom, ready with a monkey jump. One, two, three, boom! Oh no! Luke went running outside. Run, 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 run. Oh, his home with his uncle and his aunt had been destroyed. Now there was nothing for Luke to do. He had to go and seek out Obi-Wan Kenobi. In his land speeder, he headed across the mountain, hands down by your sides, mountain pose, pressing your feet into the ground and close your eyes. On the other side of the mountain, he came to the cave. Jump your feet wide, lift your hands above your head. He knocked on the door and the door opened. Coming down to your knees, take one leg out to the side, lift your arm to the sky and take your other arm onto your extended leg. The door opened and there stood the legendary Jedi Knight, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Put your hands together, he says. Use the Force, Luke. He closes the door. Come back to two knees, take your other leg out to the other side, lift your arm to the sky and close the door. Once inside, Obi-Wan Kenobi explains to Luke about the Jedi way, the Force. He teaches him how to fight. Step one leg forwards, one leg backwards. Reach up with your lightsaber. Open your arms wide, coming into a strong Jedi warrior pose. Then reach your lightsaber up to the sky and crisscross your fingers behind your back and bow all the way down. Wow. Luke then sees that Obi-Wan Kenobi needs to know the message from R2-D2 and he shows him the droid. R2 opens up, hands down, take your toes back and lift up your other leg, cocking it over the end. <gasps> Obi-Wan Kenobi sits and strokes his beard as he watches the special message from Leia. They need help. They need to get to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. And to get there, they're going to need the help of the smuggler, the space pirate, Han Solo. They head straight to the crazy cantina bar, where there are some aliens playing music. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom. Lift up your bottom and let's do a crazy alien dance. Ready? <laughs> Wow, well done everyone. They sit across the table with Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca, who looks a bit like a giant gorilla or a Bigfoot, standing up. And the floor. They agree to take them in the Millennium Falcon, which is Han Solo's spaceship, to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. Time for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind you. Let's count down from five to blast off. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Take your legs out wide. Oh, we're rumbling one way. Oh, we're rumbling the other way. Oh, we're rumbling forwards. Oh, we're rumbling all the way back. Lifting your legs to the sky. Wow. 
floating through space. They head to Alderaan, Princess Leia's planet. But before they get there, they are met with a crazy, awful meteor storm, crossing your legs, sitting up, and pitter-patter on your faces, all the way around, and on your chests, and on your legs, and on your arms. Oh no, this is no meteor storm. This is Alderaan that's been destroyed by the Death Star. <gasps> there was only one place the heroes could go, to the Death Star. They use the special steering sticks holding onto your foot to aim themselves, aim the Millennium Falcon at the Death Star. Doom! 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 Take the other ankle now and do it the other side. Doom! 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 They came into land. Now they needed to find Princess Leia, who must be on here somewhere, being held captive. The problem was, they looked a bit normal, and they needed to look like the stormtroopers. So they found a couple of stormtrooper outfits standing up and wiggle inside them. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Han Solo and Luke were ready to march with the other stormtroopers. They find Princess Leia's cell, leaning all the way forwards. Take your hands in front of you and make the backs of your hands meet. Open the door. Yeah. And there was Princess Leia, hugs all round. Yay! They rescued her. Now, while Han Solo and Luke were rescuing Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi met Darth Vader and they were challenged each to a lightsaber duel. Now was the time for this enormous lightsaber duel. Take one leg forward, one leg back, and reach your arms to the sky. Open out, letting your arm come forward and your lightsaber come forward as well. Reach all the way up to the sky. And then take your hands behind you as you bend all the way forward. Remember, as Obi-Wan had taught Luke in his Jedi fighting skills. Then we come all the way up. We turn the other way. We lift our lightsaber up to the sky. We open it out long. We bring it up to the sky again. And we crisscross our fingers behind our back as we come down humbly like humble Jedi warriors. <gasps> oh no. Darth Vader manages to defeat Obi-Wan Kenobi. Zoom. But in doing this, in this sacrifice, he lets the others escape. They need to get the Millennium Falcon out of there. Arms out wide, spinning side to side. Quick, let's escape. But they are chased by the Galactic Empire's TIE Fighters. Arms out wide, take one hand across to the opposite foot and reach your arm to the sky. And the other side. Can you go faster? Luckily, Han Solo manages to land, coming down to your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. <sighs> For now, they are safe, and they get to study the special secret plans to find out where the weak spot is of the Death Star. This is what Luke must shoot and fire at if he can destroy it, if he's going to destroy it once and for all. Time for the fight, the battle of Yavin. Luke gets into his X-Wing, his jet aeroplane. Coming up onto your knees, your arms out wide. Come down onto one hand and wave at the sky. Bring one foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And use the force by closing your eyes. Coming onto your knees again, we take our wings out wide, come down onto the other side, wave at the sky. Bring that foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And remember the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, the ghost saying, use the force, Luke. Sat behind Luke 
is R2-D2, the droid, his co-pilot, helping him fire and find his aim. Take your thumb out in front of you and put your other finger on your chin to keep your head steady. Then follow your thumb as you lift it up, down, side, not moving your head, just your eyes, side, and all the way around. He gets the Death Star in his sight and gets ready to fire. Take your legs out long. Take two fingers and put them in between your big toe and your second toe. Hook them round your big toe and lift up your special gun. Put your finger and your thumb on top of your toe and reach towards your other toe. Take aim. One, two, three, two. <gasps> the whole thing explodes with a big boom. Coming up onto your toes, ready? One, two, three, boom. Luke has done it, but he needs to get out of the way before his jet plane gets ruined by the meteors that are coming from the Death Star. Lying on your back, lift your legs up to the sky as you fly your jet up forwards and up. Luke manages to escape. He sits up full of elation. Yay! He managed to destroy the Galactic Empire's Death Star. He was a hero. A Jedi hero. And it was time for him, Han Solo, and the droids, and Chewbacca to receive their gold medal of bravery at the very, very wonderful ceremony with Princess Leia standing up. They all bow to receive their special medals. And for now, they can all rest easily. For the first time in a long time, they all sleep lying all the way down. Take your legs long and your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. It's been a very, very tough time. And now, this wonderful rest, it comes so happily to all of those who have been so brave especially you, for being brave cosmic kids, for using the force, the force of good against the dark side. Keep that goodness inside you, that love. Take it wherever you go and the world will be peaceful Breathing slowly. Time to wake up again now. We wiggle our fingers, our toes. We hug our knees into our chest. And we roll to our sides, opening our eyes, coming up to sitting with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just as we started with Namaste. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our special Star Wars episode. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure.